Welcome back y'all to another WordPress tutorial. Today's question comes from Oscar S who asks us, hi, after I remove the index.php, which is what we recommend doing on all your permalinks, so they're simple, just have the keywords in them, aka the slug. After I removed it, all my pages go to page not found. How can I fix it? Appreciate your reply. Well, WordPress should redirect your pages to the new link structure. Um, when you first make a blog, you're going to want to remove that index.php. So you just keep the keywords in your URL, like welcome to my blog or keywords that are in your blog post title will be in that link. And when you remove the index.php, it's good for Google because it keeps it simple. And WordPress should know to map all of your page links to that more simplified without the index.php structure. However, Sometimes we have links in posts or in menus or just that we sent to our friends that contain the index.php still and they send you to a page not found or a 404 page and we don't want that because that looks like your site is broken and we don't even want to use that word. So let's see what might be going on. I've gone ahead and added the index.php back into our bluehostsetup.com about page, right? So here it is. Index.php does not look great. We obviously want to get rid of that. It's also on the contact page and so on and so forth because I put it in in permalink settings right here. Now let's simulate Oscar's issue and remove that index.php. All right, we're just gonna keep that one forward slash. And I guess this would be the same as the post name. So let's just go to post name because that's what we like people to do. Best practice to use that post name setting. So we saved it. All right, now it's removed. And now I'm gonna go back to our contact page, for example. And let's see what happens when we visit this link. All right, so WordPress mapped our contact page onto its new, more simplified link. So that's great, but I'm assuming it wasn't that easy for Oscar here or for any of you guys getting that page not found. So if your pages aren't mapping, the first thing you wanna try doing is deleting your browser cache. I have this handy trash can we can see in the upper right corner which is from an extension I'll show you called Clear Cache Shortcut in Chrome. Get that, very useful. That way you don't have to go all the way to like your settings, you know, advanced, whatever, to delete the cache, you just click the trash can. Do it all the time when I'm building a website, especially with a lot of images and crazy structured tree. The next thing you can do is you can go to your pages in WordPress dashboard, just to make sure that things are still there because there is a chance that maybe the page got deleted and that would be a good reason for a page not found. So here we are in pages. We can see all of our pages are still there. So there's really no problem with them. Um, and click and view them. So what I would say is if you have your pages still there, but you're getting a page not found, make sure the permalinks here are the way you want them to be. You can always edit them manually as well. Just keep the same structure for all of them. Don't make different structures for different pages. Right? So then the final thing you should do is go to um, appearance menus. And then you're going to realize that you might have some custom links, which will get confused if they have the wrong link structure. So these are all just like WordPress menu links. But if you have a custom link, you know, like your site.com forward slash index.php slash keywords in here, that link might get confused and go to the 404 page. So once you edit your menus, save those. And then the final thing is that links in blog posts, um, they just might have the old structure in them if you like copied it from the URL bar and put it in a blog post or in a sidebar. So you might need to edit those manually. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's just, you know, that's such as life in WordPress. And yeah, I really hope that solves the 404 or page not found issue. Um, WordPress is tricky. The databases can get a little tricky. You want to use probably the best hosting you can set up or you can afford. Um, so something like SiteGround, Bluehost, in this case, HostGator, all top three. You're gonna, just going to love it. And you're probably not going to have page not found issues that last too long. And if they do, support will just fix them for you. Um, so, yeah, hope that answers your question, Oscar. Please make sure, guys, to ask any questions. I might feature you in a video like this. And every month, someone who gets featured in a video will get a free to your blog or coffee mug. So it's pretty cool. Hope to be able to deliver these, um, of course, in a safe and totally, you know, normal way, whatever the new 
normal way to mail things is. So, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you want to learn more about WordPress. Hit that like button if you learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next video.